Senator Padilla. Thank you. Uh, hope that tr uh, smile translates into a vote in short order. Uh, judge uh, Shu, you've uh, said that you have wanted to be a judge ever since you were a clerk. Uh, you've also said that you believe it is important for litigants to see and know that the bench reflects the community in which they preside. Uh, I, along with uh, many of my fellow senators on this committee and throughout the Senate, believe that it's important for our federal judiciary to better reflect and understand the America that it serves. Diversity on the bench helps improve public confidence in the judicial system and can lead to better decision making overall. But I also believe that it's critical that we promote diversity, not just in the bench itself, but also in the profession pipeline to the bench. Judges uh, too should strive to help diversify the legal profession, including in the area where they have the most direct control, the hiring of law clerks. These positions can be without a doubt, and as you may have experienced yourself, pivotal credentials for young lawyers on their way to impactful legal careers. So I'd like to ask each of you, all five of you, beginning with Judge Shu, do you agree that the goal of diversifying the pool of judicial law clerks is a worthwhile one? And if so, what steps would you take to ensure that clerkship opportunities are available to a diverse, in every sense of the word, pool of applicants? I agree with you, Senator. Thank you for the question. Um, I agree with you that it is critically important to diversify the pool of law clerks. I agree with you that it is, it is an important credential uh, for young litigators to have. Uh, and uh, I would uh, seek to continue doing what I think I have been doing in my career, which is uh, working with affinity bar organizations to make sure that um, qualified applicants are not taking themselves out of the applicant pool by showing them that they can do it and that, uh, and that they should apply and that they should structure their uh, career uh, in law school so that they would be qualified and apply for clerkships. Thank you. And uh, to mix it up a little bit, we'll start with uh, Judge uh, Ms. Ramirez and then we'll work our way back this way. Thank you for that question, Senator Padilla. I certainly benefited from clerking on the Ninth Circuit. It was an incredible experience, one that I draw from every day. Diversity is critical um, in the law clerk pool, on the bench, in, in all different settings because it reflects uh, the, it, it provides more, promotes public confidence in the institution by showing that everyone has a place in at different levels of government um, in different places. And so I would certainly promote uh, doing outreach to, to many law schools to encourage a diverse pool of applicants to apply for clerkships. And I would note that there are many different kinds of diversity that are important. And so I think that is, that is something that would be very important to me if I am confirmed as a judge. Thank, Thank you. you. Judge Hunt. Thank you for the question, Senator Padilla. I agree also, diversity is incredibly important um, and I would expand that to personal and professional diversity. Um, my law clerks help me considerably and I have to give them credit for some of the better reasoned decisions that I make because you're able to consider so many other perspectives and life experiences. It helps us as judges actually to have law clerks from different backgrounds. I have. Um, had law student externs for the summer. That's one of the primary ways that I try to support that initiative because I think so many law students don't know about the opportunity or don't think that they will qualify. And so that is something that I will continue to do. Thank you. Judge Gaston. Thank you. Um, in addition to the comments of my esteemed colleagues here, I would only add that I think one way that we could encourage more diverse applicants is by approaching schools that haven't been traditional sources of clerks. And so that's something that I would like to look into. Thank you. Judge Cummings. And thank you for your question, Senator. I just think back about how I became a law clerk, one of my law professors asked me what I was going to do after law school, and I said I didn't know. And he said, well, why don't you be a law clerk? And I said, what's a law clerk? Uh, I was the first person in my family to graduate from law school, and I had no idea. 
And that gets to the point of I think it's very important for us to go back to the law schools, to the incoming law students, and even to high schools and just encourage young people by our example to say, tell, explain what we do, explain that they can do it, and show them an example of someone who, uh, who may have their background and their experience and they can come forward and take these positions and actually try to become a law clerk. And so that's one of the things I do is, is speak to students and, and try to encourage other lawyers to get into uh, the business of becoming a law clerk. Thank you, Senator. Okay. Thank you uh, to each of you. Congratulations. Look forward to supporting your uh, nominations. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Padilla, and thanks to this panel of nominees. Questions for the record will be due to the nominees by 5 p.m. on Wednesday, February 